Hello, my name is Chris Hatt and welcome to Complete TV, better known as CTV, and this is Future Stars. So the next person I want to speak to you about is um, a gentleman called Nathan Bishop, which some of you might have seen, is um, a goalkeeper at Manchester United at the moment, uh, 18 years old, six foot one, um, he joined them 2019-20 from Southend as Southend's number one goalkeeper. Now, how do I know Nathan? Um, when I was at Fulham working with the academy goalkeepers and the pre-academy goalkeepers and the development centre goalkeepers, we had a centre on a Saturday morning at LSE, London School of Economics, which is just across the road from where Motspur Park is at Fulham. And on a Saturday morning, we used to have a development center, <clears throat> which is a place where goalkeepers used to come in before they went on trial into Fulham Academy. And they would spend some time with me and I would then try to refer them in, certain goalkeepers in for trials. And Nathan actually took part in a trial. It was like a group trial for goalkeepers on a Saturday morning. Now, I first met Nathan, I think, at under 11 through to under 13, he stayed with me. And his time with me, to be honest with you, he was one of the short ones of the goalkeepers. Now, there's that sort of stereotype for goalkeepers is you've got to be six foot plus when you're nine years old and then you've got a chance, which for me is a load of rubbish. Um, then they'll start looking at genes from your mum or your dad or, or you know grandparents and stuff like that to see if you've got a fighting chance. Now Nathan remained quite a small goalkeeper. I remember him uh, turning up at um, LSE on a Saturday morning. He always used to wear either this grey, if you remember the grey Nike goalkeeper tops, which had like speckles down the side. Um, and you know his mum used to drop him off down there and he used to train with me every Saturday morning. Very, very young, enthusiastic, and he just had this hunger. He wanted to learn, he wanted to listen, he wanted to get better all the time. Technically very sound. Distribution was very good. Um, I think being slightly smaller, maybe a little bit undeveloped at the time, probably wasn't getting the power that he wanted through into his kicking. Uh, used to say to me at times that he might struggle with coming to deal with crosses. Um, so we just worked with him about having a better starting position for that. And unfortunately, at the time that he went in for a trial, he, he wasn't selected for an extended trial. And he stayed with me and he was working with me for quite some time. And I mean, we were up at, uh, at Fulham in the rain, in the sun, I think a couple of times the snow. Um, and he was in a group of goalkeepers and they were all very bouncing, but he, there was just something different about him. You know, and I come back to that word, the hunger. He just had this hunger to to become better. And and to be honest with you, I, I thought he was very, very good, but did I think that he was gonna do what he's done so far? Probably not. Um, so that all come from him. Once again, he, he was one that had parents that were very supportive, not pushy realized that he had these dreams and ambitions and now it's just gone for you know it's gone to a completely different level for him so as his youth career was a majority of the time at south end and then he went into the first team i think he had 31 appearances at south end and then manchester united come knocking on the door um it's just, you know, and he, he signed there 2019, 2020, and just very, very recently, they've just extended his contract there. So I, I read, I'm oh no, sorry, I watched a video of him when he had that extent, uh, well, that contract extension, and he's just a smile on his face. He was explaining about how, you know, he's been there a year now, but still driving into the training ground is surreal. He's still getting that buzz and, and, and everything. And, you know, just, a lovely, lovely lad, very polite, very well mannered. Um, I dropped him a message when he first went up to Manchester United, and you know he was, you know, very, you know, very grateful and saying to me, you know, if you ever want any gloves, let me know and stuff like that. But you know, that's just showing the hunger and the desire of somebody that wanted to fulfil their potential, you know, grow to become the best player that they can be, and and obviously. He's still young, still 18 years old. You know, he, he's he's grateful to be training with 
David and, and, and all the staff up at Manchester United, but the future's looking bright for him. I'd love to see, you know, where where his where his journey goes. You know, he's he's been with the England under twenties, he's got an appearance for them. Like, it's just it's amazing again that you know I had that time and that that experience and that coaching with him. And um, now Manchester United, not a favourite club of mine, but <laughs> I mean it's it's just it's just amazing. So well done Nathan, you've got to keep up the good work, buddy. I'll be looking forward to seeing you on the big screens on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, just don't don't hurt Liverpool too much, please. Um, but well done, mate, and uh, it's, the future's looking bright. <laughs>